UK is facing a knife crime epidemic. The Home Secretary calls it a disease. Our London Mayor Sadiq Khan's answer is blaming everyone else and a few hashtags on his Twitter page. Oh, and his heart goes out. It's gone out so much he must need a transplant. Hidden under a baseball cap, he jets off to Marrakesh for the weekend and is escorted to the plane by a policeman and a security guard. Come on, our airports are some of the safest places in the UK. I bet some of the mothers of the dead children wish their children had so much security. Our former Home Secretary and now Prime Minister, Mrs May, says it's not, it's not my fault, Gov. I didn't cut 20,000 police as Home Secretary. I didn't curtail stop and search and the cuts in policing. That isn't a problem. Yet, our Chief of Police, Cressida Dick, says May cuts in policing have made us more unsafe. Who do you believe? And our miserable opposition, the terrorists supporting Marxist Labour Party, is silent. They're too wrapped up supporting anti-Semitism, Hamas, Hezbollah, the IRA, and every failed communist dictatorship around the world. So what's the answer? First of all, we need a SAR, a Mayor Rudy Giuliani, like New York had. No nonsense, no messing around, a tough police and a tough crime czar. Not a pussyfoot PC chocolate teapot. Put the armed forces on our streets while we recruit and train police officers. Real cops, not one who paint their nails and cars in rainbow colours to support LGBT issues. And get those 900 police officers out from behind their desks, searching for those hate crime criminals who write hurty tweets about transgender issues. We also take the youth at risk and put them in a national services run by a superb armed forces veterans so that they can make something of their lives, train them to be men with trades and a hopeful future. And those kids that have also committed crimes, what do we do with them? Again, a national service in our youth offending system. They pay for their crimes whilst learning how to be decent human beings. We start a real war on drugs because the phony one never ever started. And we stop importing third world cultures. If you import th the third world, you get third world problems. This is Janice Atkinson reporting from inside the EU.